The great ban wave of 2024 for Nidisanji has begun. We're going to be talking about the Nidisanji subreddit and other things in this VTuber news segment. Our Kudo Sanji, which is, as I mentioned in the last video, it is a place for all people who have been banned by Nidhi Sanji uh, and have had their stuff banned from Nidhi Sanji because Nidhi Sanji right now is going, as I mentioned, on a pretty much a crusade to uh, clean their Reddit site, They're to clean the reputation of Nidhi Sanji against all people who want to speak against it, I guess, or something. So this is the first one that pops in here. Let's take a look. And this is a bit of a close up to it. I can't highlight anything because it's, it's just an image, but it says the first one was the Mr. Complaining about it. They left that one up. Is this what Stockholm Syndrome is like? 2434. Uh, just a normal Bibu stream. The Luxium cosplay was left up. Peak collab incoming. Notice the silence. That man was Taiki Iwanaga that was removed. I want to watch some debut, but got on auditions. King Casey's YT, because this one up here that got some auditions, uh, got on auditions was for Idol Yen, I believe. King Casey YT community post about Iwanaga. Small clip featuring Mr. CEO himself uh, trying to distract shareholders regarding the Abu Felistin. Rosemi Lovelock deserves better. Uh, three times. What should we expect from Rosemi's 3D debut? Rosemi deserves better. Again, more Rosemi Lovelock deserves better. Moving out to page two. Again, like I said, this is the second page. Don't even judge a book by its cover. Have an innocent low effort meme. This is low key funny though. The Manhara collab was allowed. Lise Hestias was allowed. A reminder that this week is great Rosemi's 3D debut was allowed. So those criticizing Nidhi Sanji for the date and time of Petra's 3D debut, take a look at this. That was deleted. I don't know what was that, because that was deleted. Like, this, this is the undeletes section of Reddit that you can look at if you have, like, specific... Um, there are websites that can show you what, what was deleted, I believe. Or um, plugins as well. Spring VTuber Koshien 2024 was allowed. Nidhi Sisters planning to potentially spam the sub. Think it'll somehow liberate it. LMAO. Happy Birthday Victoria was allowed. Removed over the Thai writing clip channel does decides to stop clipping Niji Sanji. So when a clip channel decides to 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 stop doing that, they delete it again. Will delete all their clips featuring the Niji Sanji talents. Mods ban more people. So these are the remaining fans. On Nova's wiki page, the jokes really write themselves. Their next cope will be who cares about the play button? It's not a big deal. Twice they removed it. Uki should do a cover of the song. They relieved that. Big what if scenario? They deleted that. The Yahoo Japan board sees a surge in meme spam. They did that. But the same thing about Mr. Bitterly complaining. For some reason, they didn't delete that because that was also criticism. But I guess they wanted to seem like, oh, we are equal. We are this or that, you know? Um, going on to page three. They're limiting the selling of Nidhi Sunny stock. Let's remind ourselves. They're limiting who could sell the stock uh, yesterday. Random question. Ancient clip aged well. Beyond the rainbow. Look at all the stuff they're removing. Any color stock has been going up since the stocks are sales are prohibited. That one was deleted, but that one's strange because that I don't think that's actually like uh it's Nidhi Sanji related. It doesn't seem to be post spam. It doesn't seem to be uh a direct uh hatred towards Nidhi Sanji. That is the weird part there. They allowed, I think these twos are cute. Better Nidhi Sanji subreddit where they do not blatantly remove posts. Oh, that's 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 the one uh, pushing Kuro Sanji. Uh, why does it feel not fun and entertaining anymore once the VTuber streams face his or her channel? That was just a random question. I don't know why they deleted that one. The mods have woken up. Look at my masterpiece. Legal Mindset removed Akio Ervod. Petra, Scarlet, and Millie have, some, have said something interesting in the last 72 hours. Um, Kyo is essing on Doki Bird in his grad stream. Nidhi Sanji X Livers talking on the first play buttons. Nidhi Sanji X Livers talking, that was twice. Annie Val Bella's Uki racism mad comment. Don't judge a witch by its appearance. Jesus, they're really going hard on that. Akai na. We have a lot of more red here. This is all chronological order, like I mentioned before. This is just them deleting posts after another. Do you any color? Let's see how fast it gets taken down. All these things were deleted, like one after another, submitted around the same time. <clears throat> and they have shown in the previous ones that I showed that. It is all based on their beliefs. It is all, you know, doing whatever they want. So it says, average posh Brit, mods that will not be silenced, as this is just generally a funny clip. I will not be silenced. I'm about to buy the $10 million super yacht on GTA Online. You can't silence me, mods. Some raking. Wow, that did take a long 48 minutes. Anyway, here's a link to the post again. Kuro makes fun of a certain person. Watson, law of the mods really working these days. Go and do your job, mods. To take a mantle, daily reminder to subscribe and to watch Asayu's content. Nidhi Sanji doesn't care about their fans. Do you take us for fools? Mods, just an FYI, you can delete stuff, but you can't take away the upvotes and downvotes on post. We will bury your, <laughs> your astroturfing and shine a spotlight on you until you treat your talents and fans with respect. They are limiting the setting of Nidhi Sanji's stock. 
see, here's the thing. Here's where, where they do allow some posts. So a lot of these things were deleted, but not everything. It's basically someone naming them cowards. I win. I shall accept this badge of honor with pride. Seems like they're forcing the sub back to normal. And then the Kangami, Hayato, the Fulgur's birthday, Vivi's birthday, key visuals. That guy had, had shown, you know, I show in, in one of my clips here. I show that too. Brilliant idea. I feel like I'm missing daily reminders about something. A serious, honest question about mods of the subreddit. Why? Dunno, man. They look the same to me. They were limiting who could sell stocks yesterday. They allowed that one, but they did, removed all the other ones. What a coincidence. All criticism is drama, apparently. Nah, it's because what? Uh, dear any color more that they've allowed and deleted what keeps what keeps you coming back Raymond was playing game of life with Ao and other people which hollow life people hey guys I think we should give needy Sandy a second chance what they did really wasn't bad they removed that one which I guess maybe was a fun making a fun of them post many people say think that Kuzuha is currently the most subscribed male VTuber but Akami ne Nekomachi Indonesia isn't is the one this one I, I just I, I saw on the virtual YouTuber subreddit. It was posted there. WTF is happening. I guess someone's wondering what's why there's so many bans. Is this really a better look? All right, you guys are just getting pathetic now. Report on these nuts, needy sisters. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. Cowards, I win. And then, you know, the, the badge of honor and all the other stuff that we were seeing. Yeah, they're just freaking... Um, as of five hours ago, of, of as of like recording this and stuff, uh, they're still still forcing this stuff to go back to normal. So all these things are happening here. And it is definitely something that um, they have a right to do. Now, does it look good for them? No, it does not. It does not look good for them at all. Do they have a right to do it? Hell yes, they have a right to do it. And are they going to keep doing it? More than likely, they're going to keep doing it, to be honest with you. More than likely they will. It it tees what it tees, as they say. Saying uh, I kind of got sidetracked a little bit, but let's say uh, I'm probably going one person who got banned. Rightfully, this person got banned for uh, making a post that actually did violate. This person says at least uh, it says WTF is happening. Uh, this is the one that the post that he put out there. It's a just me a subreddit getting modded into the ground the last week or so. I'm only seeing a handful of posts a day and all seem like NDF. Almost none of the posts critical of Niji Sanji last more than a few hours. Everything that does is a borderline ad or promo. Something feels off. This is what he got banned for. It doesn't seem like a lot. You're just investing. Like they're saying that he investigating drama or, you know, this person right here, recover according 2724, got banned for that specific post investigating drama. This person got banned for the Nina Kosaka mods to delete thingy. It was the timeline that I mentioned before about when she was on and she was mistreated and she was just not loved for a while until she kind of just caved in and, and, and made it so that they would like her, which I don't blame her for. I'm a people pleaser and I, I, I've done that before. Our boys at the front lines limit testing a potential new counter to the astroturfing meta. Uh, hey guys, I think we should give Nidhi Sanji a second chance. What if they did what he wasn't that bad? They tested this one out. It didn't go too well. It didn't work that well for them, Cotton. It didn't. And this is the one I read. And this one is right here. Undelete still shows some of the deleted posts. The undelete that pull push, depending on how long it takes for the delete before it has a chance to archive. Also, LMAO, all the red blood swept under the carpet. The ones that I just saw, all the stuff that I mentioned here. All these things were the things that were really uh, recently deleted. Just going through it real quick so you can see all the red blood of all the things that were deleted. And then, you know, the uh, the post that I mentioned before about it, everything being deleted. Uh, Kurosanji is trending today. Hi, Redditors. I'd like to analyze the growth of subreddits and the reason behind it. Kurosanji caught my interest because it's the second fastest growing small size subreddit of the day. Why is the subreddit trending in the past 24 hours? Because you have Nidhi Sanji that is doing a lot of, of hate stuff. It's doing a lot of like, this is, oh yeah. Kurosanji is number two. It's 469 subscribers gained. Nice. The last number. Nice. If it was 420, 69, it'd be even better. This one down here, drawing the line is almost at 420. Nice. So yeah, it's because a lot of people are becoming refugees from Niji Sanji because they're getting banned and they're seeing it as a black company and they're going for it. The Niji Gulag is, is true. Guess who's next? My top three upcoming graduations are Folger, Petra, Rosamy. Who I wish to leave ASAP is Petra Rosamy Skarl. Honestly, I'm waiting for the aftermath of the shareholders meeting. Like, this decide to do anything, it'll be better at that meeting. And he was banned because of this post. And you're banned. That's in four days. Mark my words, they will abandon EN like they did ID and KR. LMAO, at least, <laughs> let's at least hope all of those are actual graduations. I mean, if get out of the bad company is what I say. Truly, just get out of the bad company. These as quickly as possible because there are a lot of them. And we'll go through these. I guess bringing awareness to homelessness is also drama. Uh, oh, okay. Basically, they, I remember this one. A fellow lost soul uh, spotted at Hollow Fest because it was a Pomu enjoyer who is now a lost and abandoned soul because, you know, Pomu is no longer there. 
uh, going to Hollow Fest because, of course, you can be an enjoyer of your Oshi being in a company and then an enjoyer of a large corporation like Hollow Live Recover. You can enjoy as many as I do. I enjoy many, 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 many or organizations. So, of course, yes, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be fine with this. Now, what's the next one that he puts out here? He was removed from the moderators of Nidhi Sanji. He says, um, so you're the one who originally put that post up. Nice achievement you got down there. Guess that? That got salty with people bringing up past livers and talking about non Nidhi Sanji events. Yeah, I mean, I could see that. I could see it being non, non Nidhi Sanji thing. It's a Pomodachi, yes. LMAO, I got banned yesterday for posting about Quinn's Peak collab, the collab with K9 Kudo. Um, permanently banned because uh, the post about K9 Kudo. That's the only post he could be re reminded of. He got, he got two mentions of being banned. I guess two of them went and just banned him. Damn, that's freaking crazy. Is Niji Sanji the one that's doing these things? But also, our virtual YouTubers apparently is removing posts related to Niji Sanji drama, calling it low effort, even when stats are presented regarding the R Niji Sanji Ma team mass removal of posts. They're calling it a low effort, I guess because they don't want to be brigaded by Niji Sanji lovers and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and, you know, they're trying to, uh, they're trying to get that going. Um, you know, they, they don't want the brigading of both sides. They want to just have a, a, an enjoyers type of, you know, a virtual YouTuber enjoyer, uh, sub 82% removed, 30% at zero karma, hundred percent of the virtual YouTubers mod team yielding any blanks PR department. They're just hating. All right. So here I was just responding to somebody. I promise. Uh, I was just trying to get to find an active subreddit to discuss things. Luckily, I got DM to me so I can actually keep up on the news going on. I figure any news, even positive, will get deleted from the sub if it's around the mistreatment of their staff. Hopefully, VV can get out quick. Edit banned from the virtual YouTubers po for the post for this post. Hmm. Yeah, sensationalize the title. Who wouldn't after already having post removed once? Oh, okay. Oh, well, I mean, if you do something like this, of course, you're going to get banned, I think. Monet deleted my post and told me the post is a non-existent weekly post. Where? So I post again. Nor can you discuss Niji Sanji on Reddit. The sub is dead. 82% of the posts in the past two days have been deleted by the mod team. The ones remaining, 30%, 13 of them are zero karma. So he got removed and he got deleted for this. When you call out a mod team, no matter how good you are, no matter how... Uh, Innocent you were before, you called someone out, so you're gonna get you're gonna have a risk of getting removed. That's just gonna happen. The post that got deleted versus the post that got me banned. So this is the post that got deleted. It was Riku Tazumi is actually worried about the hijacked yacht thingy and um was called for toxicity hate. And this is the one that got them banned, the one that I mentioned before. The WTF is happening. It just mirrored a subreddit getting modded into the ground. Uh it was called Toxicity Hate, hate speech, doxing, threats, bullying. And the legitimate question was participation, instigation of drama. I don't know, but by their explanation, one seems worse. And that wasn't the one that got banned for. Basically, it was like two strikes, you're out. The first strike, they were like, okay, we'll give you a chance to, you know, not be an asshole. And the second time was like, well, you're just continuing to be yourself, I guess, is what they were saying. And uh, they didn't like that. They didn't like that one. They were just, you, you, whatever. They, they just didn't like it. They just didn't seem to like that one. So they had a right to remove it, I guess. But yeah, he got banned for this negligible EN. Um the uh the actual post here which is actually a nice post it's a good post another wave of bands i see well welcome to valhalla truly a land of kings and heroes uh and let's move it on my post asking the livers to apologize was removed so i'm reposting it here uh and it was removed because of participation instigation of drama he says i spent a bunch of hours and effort since english is not my first language writing this and i also feel a lot of you would empathize with the sentiment of my post that the livers should have moral attitude to take accountability and apologize it's really dis disappointing to see that they removed my post because of participation and instigation of drama. The fact that they are still labeling all of this as drama when someone almost blanked is horrendous. It really showed me they will never change and will still act as if nothing ever happened. This is, of course, the mod team. And, oh, this is the one that I read back in the day of, you know, how Illyra should apologize, Vox should apologize, Ike should apologize. I remember reading this, like, I think it was two or three videos ago when I talked about the first band spree and stuff like that, I believe. It was... It's a long one, but yeah, he's basically saying they should apologize for being so mean to uh, to Selene and leading her to possibly make the decisions that she made, the negative decisions that she made. A place of refuge, medal of honor. All right, hello. I'm the person behind the white day cake post. Shadow banned as a result. He made the white cake, the the, the you know Uki not liking it, and the post has been removed. Um, and has been uh, he's been banned from the Sanji subreddit. I'm waiting for Uki to delete this post. Op, please repost if it happens. I already made a screenshot of the post in anticipation of the outcome. 
And given that someone got banned from the subreddit recently in the event I get smitten too, feel free to post pictures of all you have, you all having some cake in Starbucks. However, if you're under the impersonal boycott against Starbucks for whatever reason, then buying the whitest cake you can find in an alternative bakery cafe will suffice. Hell, why not transmute that rage energy into building a cake? You can earn some money and gain a skill that could be useful in the future. Nice. That's definitely nice. Also banned from R and Sanji. Hi there, I also got banned from the subreddit. I'm also the guy who made this post. I don't see myself leaving for at least another year or two. Maria Marionette. January 17th. So she's still saying that she might. This is this is this is a post directly from her. It's it's like directly out of her mouth. I don't see myself leaving at least for another year or two. So she plans on staying for at least another year before graduation, which means that there's a possibility of her graduating, which is funny. It's interesting. She's probably waiting for her contract to allow graduation because I, I believe it does have something. I've heard that it has something that says that you have to give them like a certain amount, a certain percentage of your extra of your income if you leave early like kind of like a penalty type of thing for leaving them before your contract is over like early termination fee type of thing they're not a cable company they're freaking nitty sanji <clears throat> leaving i don't see myself leaving at least for another year or two and um total views are down for that one. Oh, he also put the views for her thingy is down uh original post side note this is the, the highest upvoted post i've ever gotten us wtf how is this even critical of nitty sanji Arguably, it's a pro Nizi Sanji post. Mods going delusional and seeing double meaning that even we don't see. They went full on Yandere Dev. I mean, I saw the double meaning. I saw the double meaning that they could see. I'm surprised that the mods didn't even take it down, though. It was half expecting Nizi Sanji to flag that thing down. Apple decided to randomly renew one of my Nizi Sanji memberships, even though I canceled all of them on March 15th. It was done. I don't know about that. I don't know about Apple, but that Dutch seemed like a weird thing to do. My PB is seven minutes. Personal best. The personal best for being removed is seven minutes. Um, he made this post and let me get all both posts in here. Basically, he made this post here about it's because Kurosanji stands have never heard of the stray sand effect. Getting banned from the subreddit has become the new Yansim Discord ban speedrun. Nidhi Sanji will never do better. They're incapable since their three favorite kids are bootleg Regina George. Oh, God, a little R and Lord Bootlicker Vox. And then we have the next did permanently banned from Nidhi Sanji. They got permanently banned. Niji Sanji doesn't care about their fans. Repost. Your post from Niji Sanji was removed. And I mean, I can understand that. That could be seen as brigading. At least that's the excuse that they're going to give. Right here it says, any Cutters employee acknowledged that they lost the trust of the fans in a shareholders meeting. And then Claude's recent damage control statement got me thinking a bit. And that's, you know, where he, he defended Niji Sanji and he said, yeah, we could always ask for the play buttons and the play buttons being there around a lot of cool people is a cool thing to have and blah 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 he was bootleg his lack of concern about the fans concerns whether it is his true intention or management's intention gives me the impression that the company does not care about their fans this is what got removed by the way this got banned this got him banned from the from the subreddit how can you rebuild trust when you've given the impression that you just don't care about the fans concerns all i saw was you being grateful to the company sure as a team effort but why can't you acknowledge the fan concerns empath empathically, empathetically or empathically? It's not hard to say. I can understand the concern, but please don't worry. I'm okay with not having it. The entire time in the clip, I saw you be more grateful for the company staff and your fellow employees instead of, you know, your fan base. You know what you should be grateful for as well? The fans' attention and time that gives you and your company the power, reputation, and money it has. The play button of... 100k subscribers came from your fans. Yeah, it didn't come from the company, it came from your fans. You think everyone deserves to be recognized, but you can't recognize your effing fans and their concerns. Like this entire debacle just cements that Nidhi Sandy doesn't care about their fan base. They'd rather distract the fans with 3D debut streams instead of acknowledging the elephants in the room because it's much more cheaper to do so. Yet, yes, you're under NDAs and gag orders. It's not your fault that I'm blaming your management for this impression, whom is also making your entire company look bad by association. Absolutely disgusting and ungrateful behavior from your lot. You all forget the very people that made you popular in the first place. And yes, I agree. They do forget that a lot of times. And um, I, I do my best to always remember it's you guys who make me even uh, slightly uh, recognizable during these times. You guys are the ones who push me forward. You guys are the ones who make my days much better. And I do appreciate that. And here's the post that I that I just read. And he posted it here just to make it easier to read, which I really appreciate. Moving on, it says, I was banned after all those doc site posts. They got mad and I spotlighted their leftover fan base. Um, the people are saying, you know, negative things about that. I can easily see another victim coming into the subreddit. WTF has happened. This person, yes, they are because they did get banned. This was this was about a, one that I mentioned previously about them getting banned. Legit feel bad for Mika. I just checked her PL Twitter and she seems to be enjoying Holofest a lot. Now imagine if she joined Hololive instead of Kurosanji. 
with Hollow ID thriving and EGID being left abandoned to suffer a slow death, she'd be one of those people performing there and having a blast with her co-workers and likely getting paid good money instead of just cheering them on for, from home. F you, Kurosanji, and F off Riku. So, yeah, it's not impossible that she'll, that she'll be an ID4, probably a long shot, but you never know. She might ha have to filter herself or her hair, but otherwise she'd fit right in, seeing as she's a good friend with at least three current ID members, Ollie, Risu, and Zeta. That might be a nice thing to look at. That would be a nice thing to, to see and enjoy and be like, wow, this is amazing. This is going great. Etc. Etc. If anything, I suspect ID4 has taken a hot minute to materialize because a number of folks, including a few cover ID talents, want the the Kunti Lanak to come haunt things with them. Ali in particular, I can see almost kicking up a fuss about it. I they but they probably have to wait for the non compete to expire, and they want to give her some time to just decompress before training with some new gen mates. If she makes it into Nidhi, uh, to Hollow ID 4, the fourth generation of Hollow Life. That would actually be pretty awesome. I would enjoy that. I would like that. I'd be very happy for that. And something definitely is up with Hollow ID 4. And the way things have gone with Niji ID suggests a connection. Uh, for the for 15th of March, the 15th of April, actually, Niji ID talents merge into Kurosanji. Me, uh, Otavia graduated, auditions for Hollow Life ID Gen 4 open, auditions for Hollow Life ID Gen 4 close. Uh, in 2023 in um, February. Damn, that's a long time. Zaya Cornelia graduated. Takaj Rajiman graduated. Siska graduated. Amicia graduated. Azure graduated. These are all ID people. Nara graduated. Riza graduated. Hyona graduated. Zia graduated. Mika ended up graduating on the 28th of December of last year. Riksa has graduated as well on the first, on the 11th of uh, January of 2024 as well, I guess. And uh, seven XID talents remain with Kuro Sanji. So there might be some things happening in between. And um, there might be some things that are going on. I think he messed up with the 2022 thing. I don't know. Uh, but who knows? It could be that they're waiting for, like they said, the non-compete clauses to end. That's a rat that's going around. It's unconfirmed. It's a rumor. It may or may not even be true. It may or not even be, may not even be a thing that they're even thinking about. But, you know, it's out there. So I, I wanted to cover it. And that is all I have to say about this whole situation. It is a shame that they decided to go this route, but of course, you let me know what you think about everything that has been going on in this uh, episode. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you guys next time. Of course, comment down below and look at my socials as well as a video that is right in front of you that you might like. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.